Today in PA is sponsored by Renewal by Anderson of Central Pennsylvania, where you can now get $400 off every window and $800 off every door through the end of the month. Wowza. That's at $0 down, no payments, and 0% interest for 18 months. Drop a line to 717-727-7558 or visit rbacentralpa.com slash deals to get on this deal now. A Temple University scientist has been accused of using altered images to back his claims. Meanwhile, here's how many officials violated the State Ethics Act last year. Local leaders are rallying against state DEP regulations. And there's only one number one cheese, but they're all Gouda. I'm Claudia DeMiro, and you're listening to Today in PA. Temple University scientist Domenico Practico is well known for his research on Alzheimer's and even received a nearly $4 million grant to expand upon it, reports the Philadelphia Inquirer. There's just one problem. Practico has been accused of improperly reusing or altering pictures of mouse brains in his studies to make his findings look a lot stronger than they actually were. That, and, according to a letter to the university's board of trustees written by Practico's colleagues, there were, quote, numerous instances of data incongruity. Practico's case is actually part of a recent rising trend in research misconduct. Scientific journal publisher Nature found that over 10,000 research papers had been retracted last year due to things like deliberate fabrication, major errors, or other serious flaws, which was a record high for them. Even the president of Stanford stepped down in July after it was found that images in his studies had been manipulated too. As for Practico, well, he admitted to a couple of flaws, but blamed them on a grad student. Only four of his studies, for the record, have been retracted, but over 30 are still out there. Says former Stanford microbiologist Elizabeth Bick of the affair, quote, I think I'm more concerned about the system that's protecting him. That's taxpayer money, but nobody's willing to do anything. That is a very painful realization. Eleven Pennsylvania public officials and employees admitted to violating the State Ethics Act last year, reports the Erie News Times. In other words, they admitted to committing significant conflicts of interest, like using authority credit cards for personal expenses, or hiring someone's son with the understanding that the same someone would hire their daughter, or using state-issued equipment for their private business. Says State Ethics Commission Executive Director Mary Fox, quote, We've continued the long-standing work of the commission in supporting our purpose under the law. Rural Pennsylvania's population keeps going down, and its worker shortage continues to stifle its economic growth, states the center square. And for local leaders like Representative Bud Cook, a lot of the blame can be put on state regulations, particularly in the Department of Environmental Protection. For example, says Cook, people in other states like Ohio only have to wait about 11 days to get a drill permit. In several cases in his district, it's 365 plus days. Other industry executives and legislators have previously pointed to similar permit issues that limit pipeline construction while other states build. And one executive spoke of the difficulty he had in just trying to get a liquor license. Says he, quote, Is there a drastic need for permitting reform? Yes, there is. Tomorrow is National Cheese Lovers Day, says Penn Live. And in observation of this momentous occasion, OnlineCasinos.com created a study based on survey data which revealed each state's favorite cheese. Pennsylvania's was cheddar, the cheese that stood alone as the top favorite nationwide. While there can only be one number one cheese, I think they're all pretty Gouda. I'm sorry, was that too cheesy? Happy Friday, you guys, and National Cheese Lovers Day Eve, I guess. (laughs) Stay up to date over the weekend, drop by penlive.com. Also, please don't forget to rate this podcast and to share it around with someone you think will get a kick out of it, too. Thanks in advance, and as always, thanks for sticking with us. I'm Claudia DeMiro, and we'll convene next week for some brand new Today in PA. Today in PA is sponsored by Renewal by Anderson of Central Pennsylvania, where you can now get $400 off every window and $800 off every door through the end of the month. Wowza. That's at $0 down, no payments, and 0% interest for 18 months. Drop a line to 717-727-7558 or visit rbacentralpa.com slash deals to get on this deal now.